In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a test scores in grade program. And what it's going to do is it's going to ask the user to type in three different test scores. It's going to find the average of those scores. And then it's going to tell the user whether they made an A, B, C, D, or F in that class. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to get user input. And the way we do this is we need to use some of the functions inside of the scanner class. The scanner class has functions inside of it that allow us to get user input. So we need to import it, and we're going to say import java.util.scanner. Now we've imported it. In order to use it, we have to create an object of it. So we're going to type in the name of the class, the name of the object that we're creating, and we can call this anything. We could say scan L or whatever, but I'm just going to call it scan is equal to new scanner what we're going to pass as parameters to this object is system.in okay now we've imported the class we've created an object of the class we can now use the functions inside of this class next what we want to do is we want to ask the user to enter the first score and we can do this by using a simple system.out.println function so system.out.println and what we're going to uh, type in here is enter the first score the first test score okay from here we need to get input from that user and the user is going to type in the test score um, this is where we use the scanner class that we imported so the function that we're going to use is next double what this does is this takes in input from the user in the form of a floating point decimal number and it, we're going to store it into a variable which I'm going to create now and it's going to be named score one so double score one is equal to um, scan dot next double okay so now what this is doing is we are using the function inside of the scanner class next double so whatever the user types in as input say they type in they made a 65.6 65.6 will now be in score one. If they enter just 65, what will be in score one is 65.0. So it works perfectly. And the reason we use next double instead of like next int or something like that is because if we typed next int right here and the user typed in a decimal number, it would throw an error. So just to get around that, we use next double. Now what we're going to want to do from here is we got the first test score. We need two more. So what we can do is we can copy this right here so copy we are going to hit enter and we're going to paste this twice more okay and we got to change a few things I'm going to put some space between this just to for readability so this is score one enter the first test score um, enter the second test score here second test score need to create a variable called score2 and then we need to enter the third test score third test score score 3 so now it's going to prompt up on the user screen enter the first test score the user is going to type in um, their test score and it's going to be stored in, stored in score 1 it's going to prompt them to enter the second test score Whatever they enter is going to be in score two, and the same thing is going to happen for score three. Now we have the test scores. What we need to do is we need to find the average of these scores. And the way we can do this is by creating a total variable. So we can just say double total. And we're going to set it equal to score one plus score two plus score three. Now we have the total. To find the average, we can create another variable called average so we'll say double average and what we, the way we find this is it's just the total divided by the amount of tests so the amount of tests is three total divided by three will give us the average so now we have the user has entered three test scores we found the average the next thing we need to do is to evaluate that average and tell the user if that's an a b c d or f and the way we're going to do this is with a series of if else if statements. So the first thing we can do is just say if average 
is greater than or equal to 90, what we can say is we're just going to do a simple print F statement. So system dot out dot print F. And what we're going to type in here is your average was a percent F. And I'll explain what this is in a minute. But for right now, just type as I type and received an A in this class. What we do now is we do type a comma and then the average. Okay. So what this does, this is a printf function, and it's a little bit different than a print line function. What it does is we have a percent %f here, which stands per, for a floating point decimal number. Whatever we type here, which is the average that we found here, it will be replaced with this f. So say the average was a 75, um, it would, or a 95, since we're in the, if the average is greater than or equal to 90. But say the average is 95. 95 will be here so this will say your average was a 95 and you received an A in this class the next thing we need to do is do an else if statement for if the average is greater than or equal to 80 so we can say else if average greater than or equal to 80 more brackets and what we're going to type in here is um, the same thing. So we can just copy this with a few different changes. So we're just going to copy this and we're going to paste it inside of this else if statement. And instead of um, them making an A in this class, they made a B. Next, there's another else if for if they made a C. So else if average is greater than or equal to 70. Okay. We're just going to paste this in here again. And they made a C. Okay. And then the last else if average greater than or equal to 60. They made a D, paste, made a D in this class, so D. And then we can just use else because if it's not greater than or equal to any of these statements up here, then it must be less than 60. And anything less than a 60 is an F. So we can just say else. And what we're going to put in here is you failed the class, so you made an F but we're going to do it in this format. Your average was a, and it's going to display the average for regardless of what they make, but you made an F in this class. Now let me go over the logic of this little for really quick. Um, the reason this works is greater than or equal to 90, greater than or equal to 80. Say they made an 85. Um, this condition is, it's 85 is not greater than or equal to 90. So when it hits this else if statement, 85 is greater than or equal to 80. And even though 85 is greater than or equal to everything down here, it hits this condition and it doesn't check. Once it, once one condition is met, it doesn't check the following uh, conditions. So even though 85 is greater than 70, 60, and everything else, if it's greater than or equal to 80, it uh, hits this condition and it breaks out of our else if else if conditions. So that's why that works. And that should be it. Um, let me run this program. Let's make sure the brackets are in place. Yep, yep. OK, so let's run it, and I'll show you what it does. It says, enter the first test score. We'll say 90. Sorry about that. It's got to be in here. We'll say 90. Enter the second test score. We'll say 75. Enter the third test score. We'll say 80. And it says your average was a 82.333 and received a B in this class and B. I should we should change these two A's and received a 
be in this class and do this for everything else. I just didn't. But that's essentially what this function does, this program does. Um, I hope that it was helpful and you learned something. And if you did, I would appreciate it if you liked, commented, and subscribed.